Hi everyone, my name is Cole, I'm a student at Kettering University, and I'm here at our first tech challenge, Robot in 30 Hours, where we're building a robot for the first tech challenge's new game of first power play this year, and I'm going to explain what our match plan is and our first impressions for the strategy of this year's game. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Continue your excitement of robotics at Kettering University with their combat robotics team and first center. Turn your robotics experience into a professional career. Find out more and get your application started at kettering.edu slash apply. Starting in the Auton period, we want to prioritize scoring on the high junction. With the limited build time we have, we would like to have been able to work on getting a signal park based off of a vision or color sensing system to park in the right spot, but with 30 hours we don't have the time to code that out. So our first priority is to park in the high junction. However, we've realized that the signal park gives you three options to park into. One of those is always going to be the correct one, so you have a 33% chance, one in three chance, to get those points. So our plan is to score on the high junction and then park in one of those signal park locations and hope that we can get the points from that. Moving to the teleop period, we're going to be prioritizing scoring on the high junctions for that five points each time. We'll prioritize the high junctions and secondarily we will try to cap the junctions. When you are capping a junction, if that's when you have your cone scored as the last position on that junction when the match ends. We won't be trying to cap at the start of the teleop period because there's a high likelihood the opposing alliance will cap over us. So, when teleop is coming to an end and we're approaching endgame, we'll then, during the match, decide which other junctions do we want to move and go cap. In our endgame period, our top priority is going to be prevent the other alliance from getting the circuit points. The circuit points in endgame are are, is a bonus of 20 points, which is a huge bonus that we feel can turn the outcome of a match. Our priority is going to be prevent the opposing alliance to get a circuit, rather than get one ourselves. Stop them from getting those 20 points. Next, we're going to prioritize our beacon cap. The beacon is the custom game piece that your team can bring to the event, and Capping a junction with your beacon gets you a bonus of 10 points in the end game. We will prevent the opposing alliance's circuit, we will then beacon cap, and we will then try to look at the other junctions that we have the time for and try and cap them. Once that's completed and we're very nearing the end of the match, if we have more time to cap, we'll be capping, but if we're Getting towards the end, we will rush over to the parking position to get that extra two points. We can park in less time than you can cap, and that's going to be the best use of our match this year. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Continue your excitement of robotics at Kettering University with their combat robotics team and First Center. Turn your robotics experience into a professional career. Find out more and get your application started at kettering.edu apply.